do well as cold with and ruby. Okay. Hello everyone. So I start to talk your while on cold with and ruby. So let's talk about the math time. So I'm very nervous. My name is Hiroshi Wada. So please call me Hiroshi. So I'm from Japan. My internet name is HSVT. So it is used at Twitter and GitHub too. Uh, so my job title is uh, Chief Engineer at GML Paperbo. So I have many comments with such as Ruby and Rake and Rlog and Rubygems. So uh, it is uh, GitHub activities uh, with Ruby languages. So, number one committer is Nobu, number two committer is Koichi san, I'm number three committer in Ruby Language development. So, if you have uh, any question of Ruby Language, please pick up me uh, after in this talk. I'm from Tokyo. It is a Tokyo, and so Max came as a Max HD. Uh, it is a Ruby first place. Uh, I arrived in Taiwan uh, every year. So I arrived in Taiwan Island and Taiwan Fruit. I am one of the organizers of Asakusa RV. Asakusa RV is most active Ruby meetup in Tokyo every Tuesday. If you visit Tokyo, Japan, Please mention to these members on Twitter. We will pick up you to our meetup. So it's a last introduction slide. Uh, I introduce current status of Ruby 2.3. We are developing to Ruby 2.3 now. If you have any issue, please submit our issue tracker. It is uh, our issue tracker, red one. So we opened a call for future proposal for Ruby 2.3. It is the uh, last chance of your proposal into uh, Ruby 2.3. Let's talk main talk, main tema in this talk. I need to introduce MRV basis. Is there any person who uses MRV in the production environment? Anyone? Nothing? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> What's MRV? MRV is a lightweight implementation of the Ruby language. It is a syntax or Ruby 2.9 compatible. However, MRV has some differences compared to CRV. I listed there. Important things are MRV is a single binary without native extension and pure Ruby libraries. It, MRV doesn't provide requirements. This confuse many of Ruby's, I think. MRV has many advantages, I think. First, single library, like a uh, Golang library. It is very portable without Ruby James dependencies. Second, it can be embedded to some middleware like uh, ATP servers and the search engines and the database engines. Last, it is the most important thing is MRV is fun, fun provides productivity to programmers, I think. MRV binary is controlled by build configure required. I figure out this mechanism. This file is a Ruby script. Uh, it is a pure Ruby script. 
If you want to customize the MRE binary, you can put your library or third party library via confidence syntax. Confidence syntax. Like a bundler. It passes uh, GitHub directly. You can use local file system libraries. Uh, it is it is an example of a GitHub directory, and it is a local file system. MLB gem mechanism for wise confidence. Please read this link for details. MLB gem mainly components is MLB gem like file. It is an endpoint of MLB gem. MRB lib is a primary source for MRB gem. SRC directory is a native extension for MRB gem. So I write a uh, hell world of MRB gem on right code. The world is uh, an initial concept. So I create a hell world class and emit it to uh, our MRE binaries. Put uh, this gem, the uh, points is local point system, a word like oh, I know it's time. So, how are we going to set name, license, and all sorts? So, I put Thank you. 
So this binary is uh, all the world. And over It does not uh, depend on this required. Okay. Okay, so next topic is our uh, middleware needs MRV. MRV has an uh, endless mechanism for middleware. So MRV provides Ruby runtime and syntax to middleware. It provides fun for us. I introduce NGX MRV. So Matsumoto Ryosuke, who works GMO Paperball, made our uh, NGX MRV. So he is my colleague. We can run Ruby code via NGX MRV or NGX processes. Uh, it is an NGX configuration file. Uh, it is a pure Ruby code into our NGX MRV, uh, NGX configuration file. You can try NGX MRV on OS 10 or Linux processes. This list is a minimum instruction for trying NGX MRV. NGX and Morbid have many hook points for invoking the Ruby code on NGX. First, uh, Morbid content handler. It is our fundamental usage of NGX and Morbid. It invokes Hello Array file with cache mechanism. You can write inline code with code suffix MRV content handler code. Invokes these handles error requests. Emory set, set the written value from Emory code to NGX files. Code suffix is the same as before slide. Emory init is invoked once when NGX master process is launched. It is not invoke error requests. Only master process involved. MRV init worker like MRV init behavior. It invoked to frame worker processes launch. These are mainly functions on NGX MRV. It is sample code of NGX MRV. NGX MRV creates requests and connection instances. Connection and requests. We can use these instructions for HTTP programming. This production code class handles these instances for access control. Uh, new eggs and request and connection. It detects our IP from a remote IP address in connection instance or some headers or request instance. So we, uh, we can access or NGX variables via the request or connection instances. I put this code using MRV set handle like this. NGX handles are written value of MRV and access control like people that write this before right middle layer on rails. Our company GML capable uses NGX MRV for these use cases. Uh, first, calculation of digest hash, data sharing with Rails applications, 
and reverse early complex NJX configuration to Tesla Ruby code. I will describe this later. We say middleware as code as, we say middleware as code as this concept using NGINX and Ruby. I will show more details on our use cases. I introduce data sharing and restricted access with NGINX and Ruby. We have port sharing service named Sati Desarma. This figure shows restricted access mechanism without NGINX and Ruby. We use NGINX and Riot and Memcached and Parva. Parva is a lightweight proxy middleware written by Parva. This figure is complex architecture because it has much middleware and defined languages. This middleware is Par and NGINX configuration and Ruby and Amazon middleware configuration. So I replace Powerbar to NGINX and Ruby. So I integrated Powerbar's function into NGINX and Ruby. We can develop with the only Ruby code now. I introduce our code of data sharing using using memcached like this. It is a pure Ruby code. It is not specified the Ruby M Ruby code. It is fire version of our sharing code. We put connection process into int worker handler. This connection into a exit worker handler. MRB user data provides global objects in NGX MRB across each handler. We can share the collection via this is code. We restrict some requests with this code. It is simple Ruby code. We evaluate request paths and rail session data in this case. Rail session stores our paths. It is performance comparison of Power and NGX MRB. NGX is faster 10 to 20% than power. We got more Ruby code and high performance with NGX and Ruby. Next up is testing. We should test every production code in real world. So fine to say uh, more tests so our web service. I can't find the MRB use case with testing code in results of Google. My first implementation is these concepts. We use Shilby for MRB code testing. It is target MRB code. It is same as before slide. We need to put much dummy class because Shilby doesn't know MRB's words. It is dummy class of NGX requests and connection. It is dummy class of MRV user data and MRV memcache requests. So test code is here. It is a simple unit test case. It is a test case for memcache usage. So set up first, we create a request and connection and uh, dummy data or memcached and uh, launch uh, invoke as a show. We can run this test code with this one line up. Simple unit test case. But however, I have some concerns about CLB testing. CLB testing is not real behavior through so many mock and sub and dummy classes. We try testing code or MRB using MRB. I found a test library named MRB Endless. Because it is MRB gen, we can put the unit test tool into MRB binaries. It's here, so I as MRB Endless. I added test case into inline production code for using MRV M tests. If MRV binary has MRV M test class, it invokes uh, this block, test code. It is a test code. If 
MRV didn't have end test class. It invokes our production code, production code class, production code new and error. We need to our separate MRV binary for NGX MRV. This instruction shows only build MRV binary before embedded NGX. It, we gathered our MRV binary in this instruction. I wrote this task runner for MRV testing. It is a simple write task. I can invoke this task runner result are here. MRV testing is three times faster than CRV testing. Or else time is a seven microseconds. It's so faster. Last topic is uh, deployment. We need to prepare NGX MRV binary into our production use. I built, uh, we use build to NGX MRV binary with Docker container and write this. So if you use uh, CentOS distribution, um, it looks uh, this three command, you can get uh, CentOS packages of NGX MRV. And if you use Debian or Ubuntu packet with distribution, uh, these three instructions you can get our dev packet. Uh, please uh, click on this link. So next challenge. So H2O. H2O is new generation HTTP server. It supports HTTP 2 protocol. So Ryosuke Matsumoto san added MRV handler to H2O same as NGX MRV. So you, you put or uh, have D with MRV goal on, you get our uh, H2O ATP2 server with MRV. It is a sample configuration of H2O. It is a sample program of MRV. So, access to, uh, we get uh, results of evaluation of this code. We can use MRV on H2O. It means that we write recall with HTTP2 protocol. I introduction product, I introduced production use case of NGX MRV, test and deployment. However, we have many challenges related to NGX MRV. First, we use binary with mtest gen. It is different from production binary. I hope to use same binary tests and production environment. Second, we have no CI server. I think it is possible to prepare cross compilation issue. Last, we found MRV solved no test issue of NGX configuration. I think NGX MRV provides the testable world to us. So we should use Emory for expanding Ruby Wars. Thanks, that's all.